There's a question by Zubaid Ahmad from Hyderabad, India. How can one love Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, peace be upon him, more than himself to become a true Muslim? Shall we do deeds out of love or fear of Allah? How can we love Allah and the Messenger more than we love ourselves? And, and the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that a Muslim is not a true Muslim until he loves Allah and his messenger more than himself. So one of the criteria for you to be a complete good Muslim is that you love Allah and his Rasul more than you love, love yourself. And uh, should you follow the deeds of the Prophet and Allah because you love them or because you fear them, it should be both. See the fear that you fear of Allah is unlike the fear that you have of other things. The love that we have for Allah is unlike the love that we have for the love for Allah is ultimate love. And the fear of Allah is that you don't want to displease Allah. You don't want to displease the beloved Prophet Muhammad. It's a different sort of fear. It's a different sort of love altogether. And how can you love Allah more than yourself? It's when you realize that when you do this thing, it's going to cause loss to you. Yet you do it. For the sake of Allah, that is the time you love Allah more than yourself. And you know very well that now you have got a very good offer for a job in a bank and got a very lucrative salary. Maybe the salary what you earn in the bank is offering you triple the salary. But you know that the beloved Prophet said that riba, interest, conventional interest bank is haram. So you reject that. Why? For the sake of Allah. Now you are loving Allah more than yourself. If you do the job, you'll get triple the salary. You'll have more luxury of the world. Now, this is an example of how you are loving Allah more than yourself. For example, the Prophet said that don't leave the place in which when you're living in a place and if, it's, if a plague breaks out, don't leave it. So you have to obey Allah and his messenger. You, you cannot run away. You have to have faith, be patient, whatever will befall you, even if I have to die, I'll die. If you die, I become a martyr. So here you are following the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is not only proven by medical science, but you're doing for sake of Allah, you're loving Allah more than yourself. So always when you put Allah and His Messenger more than yourself, that means you're loving Allah more than yourself. And if you love Allah more than yourself, then you are a true believer, a true moment, and inshallah, go to Jannah